Welcome back everyone. Uh, in today's video we're just going to take a look at that Chrysler radio, the last instalment in the repair and refurbishment of it. Sorry I actually did a lot of the work off camera before I realised I didn't actually have it on. Uh, the move has uh, just got me a little bit uh, befuddled maybe. Anyway, let's take a look. I do explain what went on with the repair of it. So let's take a look at it now. Okay, so here we are. I've recapped the uh, radio. So uh, there was one cap here that needed to be replaced and a variety of caps uh, throughout and a couple of electrolytics here. So with those caps replaced and I've previously uh, done a quick test on the uh, mains transformer and also the audio output transformer and they both looked okay so I powered up the radio sorry I did quite a bit of this off camera the move has sort of just been a bit awkward and um, I'd actually ended up powering it up and doing a few other things before I'd actually realised I didn't even have a camera on. Anyway, I powered it up and found I had uh, no HT. And quite odd, because um, everything looked okay, um, until I noticed that uh, the filament wasn't a light in the rectifier tube or valve. So, whacked it on the tube tester and lo and behold it came up good. It was... Um, a 6V4 uh, rectifier tube. I actually had a spare one so I put it in and still no HT and it's like okay what's going on here so had uh, plenty of voltage out of the transformer it was good had heater voltage on the socket and um, ended up being just a dodgy connection in the actual uh, socket so sort of gave that a bit of a tidy up and then, lo and behold, we had HT. So after I powered it up, I just did a run through on the voltages and found still had some problems with one of the HTs. And on checking, found a couple of resistors that had gone high. So I replaced those. And uh, on powering it back up, the voltage came up okay on the secondary HTs uh, they're the two carbon resistors we had problems with and a uh, bit of a collection of bits and pieces now these are some of the other capacitors that came out of it so yeah not looking too springtime fresh there um, all of them looking pretty manky haven't even bothered to test them straight into the bin with them I think Ran a temporary antenna here, which is not in the ideal um, location, but anyway, worked okay. I've got some audio from that I took after I realised that I didn't have the uh, camera on, so I'll put that at the end of this um, video. But yeah, it seemed to seem to be working okay with the uh, pretty average antenna that I had on it. I had a quick look with the uh, signal generator as well and to be absolutely honest everything looked pretty good the uh, IF was peaked as good as I could get it I certainly didn't improve it any and the frequency tracking and everything on the uh, dial was uh, pretty much perfect so at the end of the day there wasn't a whole lot else to do as far as a uh, tune-up goes or anything like that so I've given it a, a clean up as best I possibly can and um, it's going to go back into the case and once I've got it back in the case and all put together again I'll uh, shoot a little bit more video. Your way. 
don't forget you can get me anytime on one Okay, so all sorted now. The radio's uh, back in its cabinet, working quite okay. So on to the next project. Okay, cheers for now. If you like what I'm doing, then please do like the video. If you'd like to see more, then please subscribe. And don't forget to hit the chime so you get notified when I post something new. And I'll put a couple of links here to some other videos you can look at.